Every single store that I've reviewed here has the same About Us page. Why does this keep happening to me? What's up, Debutify? We've got another subscriber store review for you today. I'll be reviewing five subscriber stores from our Facebook page, and I'll be giving you the tips, the tricks, the know-how, the best practices, and we will be learning from the mistakes that these subscriber stores have made. So let's get into it. Before we get carried away though, I need to announce the Debutify winner. Every week we give away a free month of the guru plan of our theme. So, Gail Prito this week has won our theme. Good on you, Gail Prito. Come back next week and you might win a second time. No, 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 that's not how it works. Ah! Got he! So, if you wanna go into the draw to win that, comment below, uh, soap, and you will be in the draw to win a free month of the guru plan. Okay. So we've got that squared away. Let's have a look at our subscriber stores. So first one off is Hulk Deals with a Z.com. First off, they've got a coupon and it's 10%, which I think is a pretty good price for just a newsletter. And you can say, no thanks, I don't like coupons. And we'll have a look at the store. So when I first looked at this yesterday, I thought it was a little bit distracting. There's a lot on the page. It's not exactly clean. You know, you've got like a USD currency thing, which is over the cookie sign. And then you've got chat bar and then at the top. But hey, what are you gonna do? I'll just agree to the cookies and that'll make it a bit cleaner. Doesn't look too bad. The Black Friday picture is a bit low res. Maybe just export that at a higher quality. Uh, but be careful of your page loading speed when you do that because it can slow it down. Uh, you can also crop it. This is getting real nitpicky. <laughs> to be honest, it doesn't matter that much. Um, from Hulk Deals is your store credit giveaway. I haven't seen that before. $300 store credit giveaway. Now, I'm interested to see what exactly this is when it comes to fruition because you have done a sneaky marketing technique. That was very sneaky of you. You've got a old dollar sign here for the store credit giveaway. And then down below you say, opportunity to win a $300 sign store credit. But you know, as we all know, legally, if you were gonna make that claim, you'd have to put the dollar sign before the 300 to make it legally binding. So maybe this is all a scam. Maybe it's not. Maybe I should just put my email here and then I get $300 worth of store credit. Now uh, you've got some finicky things here like the exclamation marks are on the bottom row, but that's like real minor. I think that the store is pretty clean. I like your collections. They're all the same um, green color, apart from the adult toys, 18 plus, which um, you've only got two of, and I was quite disappointed that there were, you didn't have anything else. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. The, the green works. One add-on I'd recommend you use is the collection add to cart. So you've got this nice carousel here, and what you could do is just have the collection add to cart, which allows people to add the product to their cart straight from that homepage. Yeah, your trust badge looks really good. And you've got a really solid ad copy with the, the ticks. It's all formatted nicely and I can just scroll through here and pretty much understand what's going on. There's not too much text, there's not too little. And then you've got your guarantees, your FAQs. And you've got 47 reviews from Looks, which are pretty cool as well. And they're all five stars. So I can see you've been going through and doing a bit of due diligence there. Well played, sir. I do have one criticism, and I will leave it for the end of the video, because a lot of stores made this mistake, and I think that I could compile them into one lesson for the end of the video. So stick around for that. All right, thanks, Holt Deals, for putting your store on the Facebook page. Um, I hope that that feedback was useful. Let's move on to the next one, which is Aaron.com. And yet, yeah, first thing I liked about Aaron was the Messenger chat bot. I actually don't see this very much, and it's a really good way of getting people to chat because they're probably already associated and they're integrated with Messenger. So they can just easily pop in there, chat with your chat bots, um, ask any frequently asked questions that you've stationed in there. I followed through yesterday and I found that the questions that you've got up already aren't exactly the best. You've just got a get started tab. It's just taking me back to the website. You know, it's like shop now, visit website, learn more. I feel like you could flesh this out. Like, think about the customer's workflow. They've tapped this button, and now you've the first two options that you've put on here are just redirecting them back to where they pressed the button from. 
So this is where you have to get creative. You could add in something that's really in line with your brand, with your personal story. You could tell a joke. You can hook the customer here with a pattern interrupt that's unique. So just have a think about that. That's not for me to say. That is for you to come up with on your own. Anyway, let's dive into the store. So you've got a 30% coupon as you land, which I thought was a bit high. The max that I'm seeing is 20%. I would probably drop it down to 20% just to keep in line with everybody else. Otherwise, that's just gonna eat into your profits. But yeah, it's probably still worth a try. 30% off your first order, that's quite cool. And if that gets people actually making a purchase as opposed to not making a purchase, then maybe that is good. I would still say it's probably a bit high. Yeah, like the font. It's quite nice, actually. And the photo at the back is really nice. This is a small thing, but you've got two rows of stars under this projection lamp. Maybe just have one. Yeah, it's actually quite well laid out. I really like your collection photos. It seems that you're doing a big general store. You've got an awful lot of products. Just change your free shipping. You should have it over 30 something. Is that 30 products or is that $30? I like the logo a lot. It's cool. I can see that you're kind of updating this a lot because it says coming soon on the phone call. Be sure to get that sorted when you do get a phone set up. All right, so let's have a look at one of your product pages. Shop. Yeah, you've got a lot of products, man. You're covering all the niches. You have everything. So this is one thing that I find interesting for a beginner store. You've, I'd like to count up how many products, but I'm going to estimate that you've got about 200, which is quite a lot, really. It's not insane. It's just quite a lot. And yeah, it kind of comes across on your product page. I can kind of tell that you've just copied and pasted a lot of this from AliExpress. Photos of AliExpress. You've got no reviews on a few of your products. And there's a lot of text. A little bit of everything. I guess you could cut down a few of these products. It's up to you to say you're the one with the access to the sales dashboard and you're going to know which of these products are performing. But intuitively, I'm just thinking like, this would probably be a lot easier if there was just a few less to manage and then you could scale it up later. But hey, that's just food for thought. I like the you may also like things at the bottom, the nice carousel that's in line with the collection. If you're going to look at the tech stuff, you've also got other tech things and that is cool. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty sleek website. There's not much to complain about. Pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Cool. Okay. Thanks for putting it up. Hope you learned something. Okay, let's move on. Okay, Gadget Flex. Nice, I like your coupon. This is the first time I've seen this. Where well, your coupon, subscribe to a newsletter, call to action, add on, is actually really in line with your brand. You've got a bunch of products on a table, bird's eye view, and that's congruent with your brand. You know, this is what I always push on subscriber store reviews, is it has to be congruent with your brand. And this is just instantly showing me that you're different, there's something unique and it's definitely tech-based. You've got a phone, you've got an Xbox controller, and a few other things. And then, yeah, you've got a few products on the page. The collections kind of get in the way, like this, the headphone one is cropped, phone accessories cropped, it gets a bit busy there. LED lights, is that a collection? Yeah, it must be. And then you've got Welcome to Gadget Flex, which is at the bottom. I probably put that at the top, and you've got a really good story, so I'd show it off. And we'll get back to that later at the end of the video. And then you've got let customers speak for us. And then you've got three reviews, which is cool. I guess if you've only got three, put them up. But maybe you should put more on if you have more. Anyway, let's have a look at one of your products. Your photos immediately and your collections are pretty... They're just bad, dude. They're just bad. They are awful. You know, they're like the five-in-one photos that show little things. When you're looking away, like this is a good example here. So the stand holder black and the silicon cable organizer, really clean. I can kind of see what's going on here. I'm gonna be able to put my cables in here. I'm gonna put my phone on there. And those are nice, but most of your other products are just like these kind of, you know, saturated images that have heaps of different things like this personalized Christmas LED thing. I can't even see it, it's so small on the screen. And that's because you've just taken the AliExpress photo. It's low effort and it doesn't really make me want to click on it at all. And it definitely doesn't make me want to buy it. So let's have a look at one even more attractive products. Yeah, your reviews aren't visible. 
I would probably get rid of the customer reviews tab if there are no reviews because most people are under the impression that these reviews are actually from the store. They're not from something like Looks, which is just taking it from AliExpress. So they're thinking, somebody else like me has popped onto the store and they've also not bought this product. So if you don't have any reviews, just remove that tab. If you do, put it up, put all the reviews on. I definitely like your ad copy here, really succinct, really concise. You could probably just add a few spaces here because it is more all one block of text. But other than that, it's really nice. Dude, I checked out your blog. You haven't got a blog. You've just got a link to a blog. You're, you're lying. Why are you lying? You sit on a throne of lies. I kind of want like to become Gordon Ramsay and just... Ugh. Yeah, I guess if you're going to have a blog link, you should have a blog. Maybe. I don't know. All of these links top selling new arrivals and best deals, they all lead to the same place. And that is just probably not the best thing. It's just adding confusion to your store. It's just like going around in circles. You're going around and just being exposed to the same products. It's kind of just boring. Like I'm like, there's nothing new on this page to find. I want to go down all these avenues and be surprised and be like stimulated and have like, you know, a bit of fun on your store. I wonder, oh, I didn't know they were selling this. Oh, this is cool but it's just the same thing going around in circles. So that's just like annoying and kind of like disorientating. So I'll probably cut that down, just have one. But anyway, thanks for posting, it's real nice. Okay, next store, littlealleyshophome.com. Probably the first problem is, is that you have littlealleyshop.com and then you have home underneath little alley shop. Just remove that and you'll be sweet. Really like the color congruency here. It's really good. The orange is kind of warm. It's kind of homely. It's kind of nice. It's kind of autumnal. I think it's beautiful. You know, I really like that color orange. It's a good feeling. Absolutely stunning. So let's smash that shop now button and we'll be on our way. Yeah, I really like the catalogs. Pretty cool. They're all very subtle. Your award winning obviously is just a scam because you don't credit the award. If your store has won an award, you need to say, you know, this blog gave us an award, this institution gave us an award. You can't just be throwing around, you know, false claims. That's ridiculous. You crazy? Dropshipping isn't about that, dude. All right, let's move on. So you've got some featured products here and they all look very nice, home and living kind of niche. And then you've got this big featured product. I would probably get rid of the 470 milliliter Elegant Innovative Magic Suction Cup. I'd probably remove the volume of it as the first you know, piece of text that you meet. I'd probably just have Magic Suction Cup. You know, you don't really need to have how big it is in the title. It's just getting a bit like too busy. You could even just have Suction Cup, you know, 470 ml Elegant Innovative Magic Suction Cup. It kind of reminds you of AliExpress, which is probably where you got the product from originally. And of course, when you build your inventory, you want to be cutting out all of that nonsense that AliExpress uses in their keywords to make up the titles. The bounce add to cart add-on from Debutify, pretty cool. And the only 11 left in stock, which is cool as well. And then you've got the shortest product copy I've ever seen. You know, say goodbye to accidentally spilling your drinks forever with this innovative magic suction cup design. It's cool, but it kind of just looks a bit unfinished. So maybe just go back there and tidy that up a bit. Oh, yeah, okay, this is more like, it. you've got a real proper product copy here. You've never tried painting quite like this. Uh, I would probably add a call to action after the product copy. Uh, so yeah, from going through your store, I could see that you only have a few products. I think you've got about five or six products. So what I'd probably recommend is that you cut this niche into one niche. If you're just gonna have six products in your store, you can make it a proper niche store where you just tailor everything about the branding, about all of the copy, all of the imagery, all of the colors into this niche and, you know, personalize it a bit more. Whereas right now you've got a few different products from a couple of different niches, but it's not enough to have a full general store like Aaron Ed. Aaron Ed had hundreds of products and it was a proper general store. But I can see that you're just building it. So, you know, I'm not going to go too hard on you. Like in lighting, you've only got one product and you've got like this whole catalog around lighting and then you get in and it's just the, just the one, the one lamp. So you don't really need like a whole, you know, catalog just for one product. You could probably just run that on the front page 
saves people time it's going to speed everything up but that being said i do like the landing page and the colors and it's really sleek probably just want to tidy up that beginning where it says home you don't need that okay let's move on to our last store extragifts.com so one thing i really liked on extra gifts is the color congruency it's it's very holiday based it's about giving and the imagery really reflects that as well as the color make your loved ones feel special and happy shop now now that is a really good call to action. It's making you think about people in your life. You're like, ah, this isn't really about me. It's about giving. And people are gonna spend because they want to give. And then you go straight into your mission. We're on a mission to create moments of happiness by delivering the extraordinary. We provide the most amazing products at unbeatable prices. And then your collections are very sleek. <laughs> okay, you've just popped up with like the 1999 Congratulations, or maybe it's like 2000s. That looks like a scam to me. So I would definitely get rid of that. I haven't seen that in 10, 12 years. You've unlocked 20% off. Yeah, probably wouldn't click on that. It looks like a virus. No, 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 no. But as I was saying, your collections lists are very beautiful. I like it a lot. And all of your products are unique. There's a lot of things here that I haven't seen in drop shipping before, and I like that. Apart from that levitating moon, I've seen that a lot. That's a winning product. And then, yeah, I wanted to talk about this imagery. I really like this photo that you've got at the bottom, and it really works well on desktop. I was on your desktop page yesterday, and it's just like this kid giving maybe his mum a present. And that is the sort of idea that your brand is all about. That's just the quintessential image of your brand. And I think it's perfect. Well, before I get to that, I'll just have a look at one of your products. Okay, so the abstract face decoration. A few problems here. You've got color D, C, B, A. I've got no idea what that means. You know, there's a few options here, but you need to really line those up so that the customer knows what they're gonna buy. If they don't know what they're gonna buy, they're not gonna actually make a purchase on your site, so you need to make it very idiot-proof for them. Buy more, save more. You've got the quantity upsell, that's cool. And then you've even got a product video. And then you've got quite a unique trust badge as well, premium quality, all with this nice cool logo that you've got. Now I like this, or it says no reviews yet, be the first to add a review. That's a classic technique. Saying like, yeah, people have bought this, it's saying no one's reviewed this yet. And you can be the first. And I kind of like that, it's like bringing you into the community of the store. But anyway, let's have a look at your About Us. Now, this is going to bring me to the big learning curve of this video. Every single store that I've reviewed here has the same About Us page. Our company is built on three core principles. Excellent products, excellent prices, excellent customer service. Now, that's cool. Like, good on you. I've seen it on five pages in, and they've all been posted on our Facebook page this week. So I know that there's just not much thought going into this. Like, this is a good idea. And yes, you should do something like this but it's a carbon copy of all the other stores. I feel like the school teacher who's, you know, picked up all the tests and all the answers are the same and they're all wrong and you just know that they've been copying each other. And yeah, that's a bit what e-commerce is about. We're all on our laptops. We've only got a limited vision. It makes sense that we copy each other. But the best store that did this is Gadget Flex. When I read Gadget Flex's About Us page, I immediately know that they've spent a bit of time trying to create their brand. And I really liked it. Now, how to actually navigate there is another story. So Gadget Flex, I can't actually get to your story from the menu sidebar, and you've got three sidebar menus that go to the same place, so you need to clean that up. But once you actually find your story, it's nice to read, you know? This is unique, this stands out from the other stores. We're a group of entrepreneurs from Birmingham in the UK who love gadgets to boost our lives and happiness. Sorry, that got a bit Irish at the end there. We believe the latest gadgets should not cost the earth like some of today's bigger names. And I like that, that's cool. It sort of brings me in, you're like a small business, you're probably a bunch of you know university students just trying to make a bit of a side hustle, and that's cool. When I was reading the other stores, I was just like, this is a joke. Here you go, little alley shop again. Our company's built on the same principles. Anyway, I'm gonna bang on about that for way too long. My point is everybody's doing the same thing, so try and stand out. You know, 
Everybody's looking at the same products on AliExpress. Everybody's using the same software, Shopify. So how are you gonna stand out? You've gotta make your brand a bit more personable. And you can do this especially in the marketing because as we know in dropshipping, it's all about the marketing. This is great, these stores look great, but you're gonna to wanna to do some brand stories, some unique selling points in your marketing as well. So don't forget that. So I feel like we've done a good run there. We looked at five stores. Uh, there was some mistakes, but mostly they were pretty good. So it looks like you guys are doing well. Pretty, pretty good. If you want me to review your store, feel free to drop it in the comments or you can join our Facebook page here. That would be great. It's great to build a community. We can comment back and forth and get in touch and learn and learn and learn and grow. You have a lot to learn about this town, sweetie. And that would be great. If you enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe, smash that like button. It's all good for us. It's gonna promote the channel. I feel like that's it. Uh, have a good day. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.